today's video, we're going to show you how to set up and use the pointer selector. The pointer selector is a new feature of VR Easy 1.1, and it consists of another type of selection. So, so far we had the site selection and the touch selection. The pointer selection builds up on the site selection features, but instead of selecting um, through seeing, we're going to select objects by pointing at them and trigger them. Think of it as a real life laser pointer that we are going to bring into the virtual world. In this simple scene, I have the Steam VR already imported, and of course, I have my VR Easy package. The reason why I have the Steam VR is because I want to demonstrate the pointer selector by using a Steam VR controller. But note that you do not need to have the Steam VR to make use of the pointer selector. Before starting, make sure that your SDK checker has the Steam VR option integration applied. And also in this scene, I've created a simple 2D button so we can show the interaction. Okay, so just to create a pointer selector, we go to the VR selector panel and select a pointer selector, and then we drag and drop the object we want to use as a pointer. In this case, I'm going to use the right controller from the Steam VR prefab. So I open the camera rig and controller right. This is the one that I want to use. I drag and drop it and just click on add pointer selector. And automatically in this vector, you'll see that we've um, added um, some components, among which is the pointer selector. Now, pointer selector comes with uh, a lot of features that I'm not going to cover today. But there's a lot of options for customization. The one that I am going to cover is the trigger option. Remember that at the beginning of the video that I mentioned that you interact with objects via um, a trigger. This think of it as a pointer, as a button that um, decides when, whether or not you shoot the laser to interact with objects. Because I'm going to use a Steam controller, I'll use a Steam controller trigger. Click on link and if you go to the controller um, the object that you want to configure as a pointer selector scroll down you should see steam controller grab prefab in this case i'm not going to configure the button it comes with a trigger already access selected so that's perfectly fine for our examples if you want any other buttons you can obviously choose whichever you prefer all right, so let's test this. So I have the controller right in front of my face, and every time I press the trigger, you can see how the laser gets shot. And we can interact with VR aware elements by just pointing and holding the button. All right. Okay, that's it. That was simple. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you and see you next time.